Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some new and amazing design tools for the month of January 2024. Today we're checking out some AI design tools, competitions and challenges, and even some resources that some popular design companies have taken out. So let's check them out. Okay, so the first one comes from Real Vijay. Along with some of the Figma advocates, he's built a challenge which is coming in like two to three days. It's called February. All throughout February, you'll get to practice Figma with them. See, the first challenge has already been put out and you can share whatever you create during this challenge on their February hashtag and you'll probably get a lot of recognition for your work through this. Some very well-known designers, including Roji, Miggy, Pablo Stanley, Real Vijay, all are involved in creating these wonderful challenges for you guys check this out and maybe this will help you in your figma practice okay i'm sure you saw that viral ai design tool which would literally design screens based on prompts that a few months ago called use galileo now galileo ai is a really cool tool that creates some really impressive user interfaces complete pages from start to bottom using artificial intelligence Some of these examples are actually very impressive uh, they, they have detailed writing, graphics, even map views that are including using AI. Now, these are some designs that I've not even seen proper UI design templates creating. Now let's create something and see if it is worth it. If I click on create, I can now enter any prompt that I like. Here I can maybe put something like library of my YouTube videos organized in a clean manner where users can search, save and even download videos. So I've given it a decent description of what I'm looking for. I can choose to get a web design or a mobile design done. For this one, let's go for a mobile design and I'm going to click on generate. Just like ChatGPT, it starts thinking or chatting with you. Soon enough, it creates a basic structure for you, including what kind of pages you would like. It also defines each page in detail to see if this is what you require. Within half a minute, it gave me these amazing multiple screens that it has designed. Whoa, if you take a look at these, it creates full pages, not just screenshots. So you have a library of uh, trending videos, recently added videos. You have proper navigation at the bottom. Of course, you have multiple pages. You have search results. Everything is done for you. It also kind of gives you, it also gives you a description of these designs and it allows you to edit each and every one of these pages. So if you want to make some edits or changes to this design, you click on edit and it allows you to create a prompt to edit this. What's super special about this is the fact that if I click on Figma, it copies it over to Figma. So now if I go to Figma and paste the screen, it will paste it as a raw design, which you can edit and do whatever you like with it. If you want to make a common change across all screens, that is also available. Could mean changing color themes, corner radiuses, even fonts to get closer to the visual aesthetic that you're looking for. To add to this, they also have an explore page so you can check out what other people are creating as well as a discord page to check out the community. There are 235 members which will grow to a couple of thousands as this becomes a public tool. Okay, so this next one, I actually created a reel or a short for which you can check out separately, but this is an update with Figma and Lottie files, which a lot of people were waiting for. First of all, you can now export any animation that you've made inside Figma as a Lottie animation, which a developer can then easily implement on the website or application. Then you have some really cool features that they've included. One, you can animate gradients now, which has been a debate in the Lottie community. On top of that, you have auto layout available. So you can now animate a auto layout functionality as well. So you can expand or make anything smaller and it will export it as an animation. You can even animate and export multi-variants where you've created three to four variations and it animates between those variations. It will now be able to export it. Now, now, apart from this, in dev mode, you will have some default option to copy these animations, these Lottie file animations, or embed these animations inside your websites and apps. Now your Figma animations are not useless anymore, okay? All right, so we're speaking about AI so much, there is an actual competition now in collaboration with Shutterstock 
for people or creatives like you to take part and to use your AI design skills or your prompt skills to create some beautiful designs and then submit it to them for judgment. There's an entire timeline that goes from 12th December last year to the end of May. So the winners will be announced in May. You will get to fly to Geneva for their AI for Good Global Summit if you win this competition. Yes, they're going to arrange your flights, your hotel. I think this is a great opportunity of doing something incredible. If you think you're up for this challenge, AI for Good is hosting this awesome competition. Raise your hands if you've ever used Miro. Lately, it has introduced something called an AI partner for innovation. And what it does is with just the click of a button, you can create research material, questionnaires, mind maps, brainstorming sessions, all using this AI powered companion of sorts. Anything, anywhere you're stuck, it will help you. If you want to summarize all your data into a neat format, it can do that as well, be it tables, graphs, etc. It also creates instant beautiful presentations for you. So if you want to present your ideas to your team or to someone else, you can do that using Miro's assist. Based on ideas, it can expand your ideas across plethoras and add new ideas to it as well using the power of AI. And of course, the tedious task of building diagrams in UX will be eradicated because this is much faster and it allows you to do it instantly. I think this is really competing with FigJam's AI. In some ways, this is actually better. There are many UI design challenges out there, but this one is special and unique. It's called uichallenges.design. Now, what's special about this? Well, this platform acts as if it's a mentor for you. You can schedule a challenge and it will send you a customized challenge for you in your email. This is a great way of learning, not only because it is automatic and it has a cool generator feature, but also because it has that coach feeling. Now they are promising 365 unique challenges. So throughout the year, you'll get something new and unique in your email history of challenges. So you can check out your old challenges as well. And what you did, they're promising that they will add direct feedback. So real people will start giving you real feedback to you. There'll be social sharing through this software itself. And there'll be a leaderboard. So you can actually track how you're doing as compared to the entire community. By now, everyone knows about Framer and a lot of you guys love this tool. Actually recently officially introduced something called Framer Experts. And if you are a designer who loves Framer, who can easily design on it and knows the tool very well, you can become an actual expert on their platform and people can reach out to you to pay you to build something. Now, this is a really cool community that they've built around their already existing community. And they also offer you a badge, which is called Framer Expert Badge. This is something you can flaunt on LinkedIn, on your personal portfolio. And it also shows other information, including where you're from, what you do. You can even get in touch with these designers instantly. And it also links to your Contra profile, as you can see here. Now, this matters a lot because this can be a real big boost to your freelancing journey. And this is a cool place to also host yourself as a designer from. Okay, okay, I'm talking about it now. It's called Amy, okay? I know everyone is just focused on that. Now, this is a tool that everyone is literally going crazy about. It is your all-in-one to-do email and calendar app with hundreds of integrations just out of the box. First of all, loving the website and the aesthetic. I don't think any other website is so cool. Forget calendar websites. The cool thing about this is that it works with your email, creates automatic schedules and also has a very, you know, multitasking view like this. So even on your iPhones, iPhone users, you can multitask like you can do generally on Android phones. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I know this was quick and short, um, not a lot of updates. It was holiday season, so a lot of companies did not introduce anything, but February is going to be an active month for designers. So wait for that. Make sure you subscribe to it and also make sure that you like this video. If you did, that really helps the channel and it also helps you guys get more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. God bless.